hello everyone welcome back so in this session today we are going to see how to handle the multiple web elements in webdriver io so so far we have seen how we can identify the elements by using your what you call the dollar sign or browser dot find element right so we have uh, looked into the locator strategies by using this particular symbol today we are going to see the browser dot find elements which is the double dollar sign and we will see how we can utilize this double dollar to fetch the number of web elements or multiple web elements or a collection of web elements and how do we loop it and also how do we individually or uh, one by one how do we handle those things so that is what we are going to see that so for this i will be using the uh, this particular HTML web application and this is very straightforward static web application which you can use it so if you see here there are a lot of different types of web elements are there if you see here there are actually three different types of text boxes are there like if I will inspect this one you can see that the input is the tag name and also the type is the text so if I go to the selectors hub and I use input I'll see a lot of different web elements don't worry about that but if I make it as a type equal to text I should see only four different types only okay so the fax type uh, fax number is actually disabled so it doesn't matter but uh, if you see that there are three different uh, text boxes are identified with uh, input type text individually you know you just make it as a weight uh, dollar of uh, whatever the id dot set value or you can do whatever you want any actions you can perform but now we want to gather all the web elements that is having a text box type okay and we will see how we can loop it so for this i'm going to copy this one and paste it and give some name let's say that multiple elements okay so now let's identify the collection of text boxes so for this i will say await and instead of single dollar i will be using the double dollar and here i will be giving the css selector that is input square bracket type equal to text okay i can use single quote as well here okay so now this is nothing but the collection of text boxes all the text boxes fine now what I'm going to do, I will be looping this one and for this looping, there are a lot of different ways I can do that. One of that option is directly I can put a for each loop on this. Like for an instance, I can do like this for each and I will say inside this, I will be passing a parameter here. Let's say that uh, a sync and I will say element and inside this I will be writing my logic here now what I'm going to do all these types uh, text boxes whichever we have got let's fetch the uh, let's say that let's fetch their IDs okay for an instance so what I'm going to do here I will take this el dot get attribute there is a method called get attribute and inside this I will say that fetch all of the IDs actually and here I can do anything I can just print it as console.log so that we can see all the IDs of those web elements or else individually I can take one by one and then I can send some value to that as well okay even I can say that if ID equal to username then add the username if ID equal to email then add the send the email address to that text box and let's remove this line and I will put an await here and this I think is basically not required here because I'm putting an await here so all these things will be going and also let me do one thing let me keep the count as well so that you can see the count of that particular so I will put length so length is to count how many 
number of elements are there and I will put it into a console log let's say I will do like this and let me run this particular code okay so for this I will be opening this let me clear the before result and let me run this particular code base and let's see in this I have already this particular test pack to run so click on enter okay and here I need to make it as uh, delete that X so that it should execute because that is to comment or to skip a particular test case so let's rerun it and it got successfully finished and you can see there are actually four different text boxes and their IDs got printed that is basically this particular code and to count that if you see before you can see there are four elements those are present from the multiple elements so that is the way you can loop out by using for each even you can use the filter option as well let me show you that as well so what you can do you can even do like this uh, text items you can just put some name in this text items and after that uh, what you can do you can just call this particular one like this and then let uh, it, it assign there now what you can do text items dot you can even filter it as well okay filter the concept is same just the element dot get attribute of id okay like this you can also do and here if you what is there let's see So here I made it as a weight and then here and this one also you can print it into a console.log. So here if I do like this and then let me comment these blocks. This is not required at this moment. Okay and if I run this it should print the same output only and as you can see four different elements it got so inside this you can play with anything like you can even uh, extract this actually you can say if that get attribute dot id dot contains username then pass the test case or something that short anything that you can do see once you got your details right after that you can play with them and the same concept we can use when you have uh, a drop down let's say that uh, there is a country drop down which is having hundreds of items are there and you want to verify a specific country is listed or not in that so you can just have that collection of items and inside a filter or a for each loop you can pass any kind of condition or you can verify any condition in that so that is the way now this is moreover like uh, looping those multiple elements right but what about if i want to have a specific item from there let's say that the second item from that particular collection i want to fetch it yes even you can do that as well so let me show you that so let me just comment this one and in that actually what you can do let's say console.log and you want to get the text item let's say that text items and you can just put an index here and you say that I want to get the second item from there so you can directly get to know like this so get attribute of ID you can just make it like this as well so await 
and then now let's see what it prints and you can see it is giving the telephone actually so if you go to this application the third element so two means a uh, square bracket of two means it is the third one so first second and third so that is where and if you go to this and inspect you see the id equal to tel and that is what it got printed here so like this index wise also you can you can uh, access those elements so this is like very straightforward right text boxes because it has its own individual IDs you can deal with that but the same concept we can apply here let's say that this is your uh, what you call the list items are there there are actually six items are present like let's say that you want to get the second item from this list let me quickly do that so for this I will be commenting everything and now let's say that and this is if I go right click and inspect and you can see it is the tools so here you can see this is the tools and these are the options so like to get all the items from that what I can do I can use like this tools and then I will say space option and tools is my ID right so I can do like this and you can see six different items so directly I can take this one I'll say let I'll say options equal to await and dollar dollar and inside this I will put the CSS selector now all are the all these are options right now after getting that what I can do I can print the log but I will say options of one which is my second item dot get text okay so here if you see see get text is nothing but this particular text so if I want to get postman which is my second item that is where I'm giving the index as one same concept here I've given the third item dot get attribute of ID but to get the text I can directly use the get text let's see that and also you can put these options like in a sense if I go quickly here you can even print these details as well here so instead of text items you can go for uh, options and you can say get text get text like this also you can print it actually here and you don't even need this line of code like this also you can do fine so these are the different ways actually you can really get into multiple web elements and let me just show you if it prints the postman or not so let me open the terminal and run the test and here you can see the second item it returned as a postman so like that you can you can access all the web elements from a particular web page let's say that uh, there will be a question where how do you fetch all the web element uh, all the uh, your links from a web element uh, from a particular screen so what you can do you can put await dollar dollar and you can say that a tag so this is actually to fetch all the links from the particular screen so you can just say like this okay this will return all the links from current web page like this you can get it okay so hope this session is helpful to get the multiple web elements by using the find elements here and you can see it even returns you the element array oops sorry you can see chainable promise array that is nothing but the element array and by taking this element array you can play with that hope this session is useful we will be seeing lot more stuff into the web driver io with the element actions browser actions in our future topic topics so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel thank you for watching